Hi, it's me, Fairy Liquid from the magical land of Jing Jang Jujong, bringing to you a very simple rabbit balloon. Now, um, there are two types of rabbit balloons you can do. You can do the very simple one, which is a little dyed and looks so good, or you know the not quite so simple, but still really simple one, which does look cuter. Now, if you want to see some really fantastic um, bunny balloons, there's lots out there. Anyway, this is what I do. So this is the first type of bunny balloon, which requires very little thought, but, um, is very quick to get out and maybe like you know good for a baby but you usually do have to draw faces on these which does add a little bit of time on as well so blow your balloon up just squeeze it to the end there now you can see here I've not left very much on the end like two two fingers worth there and uh, the firstly what you're going to do is do the nose for this bunny so just um, about probably about four fingers something like that um, and twisting away from yourself do a twist then we're going to do two ears so we do the first ear one and then to match the size we're just bringing it back on itself again and we're going to join them up together there so just press squeeze squeeze and turn turning away from you and you've got your head and your ears so now we are going to do the legs let's just make the i'm making them about actually about the same length looks as as the ears so there's one leg i want to do the same the other leg the same length so i'm just going to bring it back on itself just to measure that and twist and turn I've got two, two sausages there. Those are the legs. I'm going to lock them in together. So we've got lots of joins going on in that, in that place there. So that's the legs, the front legs. Just assemble that. Now we're going to do a body. And the body doesn't have to be very long. Shorter, definitely shorter than the legs, okay? So just give a little twist there. And then the rest of it is basically your back legs and the tail. So the easiest way is just to just make sure all the... Um, air has gone all the way along to the end so I'm just going to twist off a little bunny tail here and I'm going to loop it back round like that and then we can just put the bunny tail through to lock it into position and you're left with that and I'm so I'm going to put the the front two uh, legs into this little circle here so you just squash them down now you have a very, very simple bunny rabbit. Um, if you want, maybe maybe you want the ears to be longer than the front legs, so just turn it around. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and there you have your bunny tail, your very, very simple bunny, okay? That's really easy just to pull out really quickly. So I'm sure you can probably find a really good video that does nice, nice eyes, better than that, but does the job. And one on this side. Really Easter time, really, that you, you end up doing the most bunnies in my in my experience. Anyway, and we're going to do a little mouth and some buck teeth. Now, if you want to embellish this rabbit a little bit further, if you've got more time and you want to, uh, you can you you can do a carrot. I'll do a carrot quickly afterwards as well. Okay, so that's that's number one there. If you want a slightly cuter version, but still simple and quick to get out, because that is my game. Simple and quick. Right, I'm going to blow up the balloon. This time, though, we're going to leave a lot more in the end. So let me just tie it off and I'll show you how much I've left. Let's squeeze the air into the end. So now you can see that I've actually left quite a long tail. It's more than my hand, maybe like a whole full hand span, just slightly more. And um, we are going to do the ears. going to start with the ears this time. Now, the ears, you definitely want just slightly longer than a hand span. So that's one ear. Turn it back on itself. Okay, and then we can get the other one. So I'm holding on to the, the nozzle and I'm turning at the same time and then poking the nozzle through there like that. And now we are going to do the cheeks. And the cheeks are, well, I just, do you see what I did then? I just give it a little squidge just so it's not too, too tight, the bubble. We want it to be slightly soft. And I'm gonna do um, a medium sized one. So that's about three fingers um, worth. And another one the same, okay? So there we go. Oh, nearly the same. Hang on. Right. So I've got those two bubbles. Again, just put them back on each other like that. We're going to squeeze and twist into that join that we've already got. And then we're going to pass them through the ears. Okay, so just pass them through the ears all the way through to lock them into place. Those are our bunny cheeks. Now we're going to do, um, well, kind of nosy bits. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squish, squish, squish all the air out. Squish, squish, squish. And make it as flat as it can as it can go underneath. And then when it gets to about there, I'm just going to twist off like that. And I'm going to put that join in with that join with the ears. So pull up, twist. Everything's getting in my way. And you are left with that which is quite a cute little bunny face there. It's just a little bit sweeter than the other one. But the rest of the body is gonna be the same as the other one that we did. So squeeze, all, squeeze the air down a bit. And we want to do two legs, and these legs are gonna be shorter because uh, we haven't got as much balloon left. So, I don't know, just a hand span. And the other leg, again, it's got to be the same size. Going to lock those in. So where all the other twists, it's the same join where all the other twists are. Turn that around. That's your front two legs. We're going to do a, we're going to do a, a body now, a back. It doesn't need to be very long, quite short. And then make sure. So we've got our body there. I'm just holding it there so it doesn't un, unravel. Push all the air to the end, and get yourself a little bunny tail. Twisty, 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 and turn it around like that. We're going to join those two together, so pull up and around. So you're left with a little ring there like that, and that is um, going to be the back legs, and you're going to put the front legs in there. So you are left with this. And it's just a little bit, just a little bit cuter, but it's very quick. Another way you can just make a slight variation is if I just pop his legs out, so I've got the back leg loop. If I want, I can get my finger, squeeze, and rotate one of the one of the legs to make two legs. I haven't quite done it exact there. That's one one's a bit longer than the other. And and now, when I put the bunny in, whoop, he's got two legs, two defined legs, and you could also, if you wanted. You could also attach a carrot just there. You only need to use a scrap of orange because you don't need much. So if you have any bits left over, use them up first. You're just going to put a little bit of air in. So I've got about a hand span. It doesn't even need to be that big. Tie that off. Push it all the way to the end. And then just tie the other end off as well. Cut that off. Not right at the bottom though, you make sure you leave yourself a little bit of a tail there. Get rid of the rest, but don't get rid of it, rid of it, Just keep it for later. Now, you all, I've also got here a, a green balloon, which will probably be looking invisible, because I think I've got a green screen, <laughs> so that probably looks really weird. Ooh, is it vanished? Okay, um, and uh, I've just got it, it's just a random green balloon, so I'm just going to cut that. So make, uh, this is just for leaves, so I'm just cutting it up really. If you have any sort of scrap of green, then that will look good. Uh, I'm just going to tie that round one of the ends. Just remember, if you're giving these out to um, toddlers, make sure that the parent is always with them because these little bits of balloon scrap in particular, well, I mean any balloon, especially if it pops, but you know, it's in these little bits of scrap, you wouldn't want them to end up in the child's mouth. Très dangereux. There we are. Okay, so we've got that. I've got a brown pen here, and I'm just going to just draw some little carrot markies, you know, just some, just make it look a bit more like a carrot. There we are. And this now can be affixed to whichever um, rabbit you want. If you don't want to do the extra join, there's another place you can put, if you've got enough room here, you can put, you can attach it, attach the nozzle to the front legs of this one. You can attach it to the front legs or you can attach it to the back legs. So I'm just going to attach it to the, the little front legs here. So I'm just going to push it through, push the nozzle through. And now I'm going to squash it all the way through. And we've got a little cute balloon there, a little cute rabbit holding um, a carrot. So what I've done here is I have just drawn on a little eye and I've drawn on a little heart-shaped nose with a little 
thingy bits for the mouth and whiskers. <laughs> but I mean, I would recommend you don't even bother with the eyes because if you're doing it for my reasons, which is doing them fast, then um, just it's just more, it's more messing about. And, and the, the carrot's nice, but it's more messing about. But it's okay if you've got a little bit more time and you know got a couple more minutes to spend on that kind of thing. Um, I think it looks quite cute with, 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 the, with these eyes. Um, you can do balloon eyes for it as well but this because this is quite a tiny rabbit um i would say that it probably isn't really worth it it would look more like something out of the fly might give some child nightmares <laughs> so um thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe i think it's not fair my subscribe button um if you oh, don't know maybe i've sent you just to my website anyway uh subscribe for more balloon videos like this because um i think the ones i've got i think that they are the fastest ones on the net and i also have like the butterfly and the sword and laser guns which are so fast to do and are really helpful when you're in a stress and you've got to get things out really 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 fast or you just want a really simple balloon and i think they're probably the simplest on the net thank you for joining me see you then Bye bye